What is up, everybody? How's everybody doing today, man? You already know how it goes. Your boy be back with another video, and I'm finally getting over this cold, man. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brandon Jones, and I specialize in helping you make an extra income. And today, guys, we're gonna be talking about how you can avoid eBay scams. A bit about eBay, and you're somebody that either has an eBay or somebody that's looking to get an eBay or somebody just doing research because you're trying to avoid being put in this situation. This is the video for you. All right, you can stop searching. You can stop looking for uh, videos that are gonna be completely transparent and not commercialized. Um, videos that are not just going to give you hooks um, and give you a couple bullet points. Um, this is gonna be a video full of proven facts um, about literally what it takes to start an eBay, uh, why you would want to start an eBay, why you wouldn't want to start an eBay, and also how to avoid these customers uh, from scamming you and I'm giving you complete and utter truth uh, because I have no reason to um, create fluff if you guys don't know somebody I have a discord links below join it make sure you talk don't join it and just be mute um, and just put us as another server on your um, roster we want to make everyone continue to network and get better and we take advantage of each other uh, we want each other um, to speak so that we understand what your goals are. So if somebody can help you and assist you, they can help and assist you, vice versa. We want to let you know where our goals are so you can know what our expertise is. And then boom, we can help you. We don't. We want to take advantage of each other. I don't believe in having friends that are not beneficial. And guys, when you join that Discord, you're my friend and you need to be beneficial. You need to be talking. We need to be able to literally depend on each other. But Nevertheless, I had somebody on the Discord basically ask me, hey, I see a lot of YouTubers and they're, they're promoting eBay. I'm 15 years old, I just got scammed. Uh, what do I do, right? <clears throat> the individual, I believe, had a phone, his first phone that he was trying to flip and I guess he wanted to flip it on the eBay, which I, 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 I say from the rip, do not flip phones um, <laughs> online. I, I tell you guys that, do not flip phones online, do not, um, flip phones when it comes to shipping. I, I, like you can list them online, but I'm meeting you in person. But this individual ends up going and I guess listing a phone, selling the phone and getting scammed. Person said they didn't get the phone. Long story short, person saw the tracking number and everything and he sees that it was delivered. Person said it was not delivered, uploaded a picture that was like a black, um, I guess just a black picture um, and is trying to get his money back. What does he do? This is one of the main things that I first learned in 2014 when I created my first eBay account is that eBay um, is just like the real world, right? You have pros, you have cons, and you also have people that try to take advantage of the system. And on the Discord, after this individual um, shared his story about how he got scammed, um, somebody was, was, was basically telling him like, yeah, like eBay always sides with the buyer. And that's completely true. If you're somebody that is looking to start selling with eBay, be prepared to not be backed up, okay? Be prepared to hold your own. But is that really bad? Is it really bad to know somebody doesn't have your back or a company that you're using their platform to um, access millions of people don't technically have your back? I personally don't feel as though eBay is obligated to have the seller's back. You want to know why? Because when it comes to, let's say, you renting a storefront, right? If you rent a storefront and landlord um, is collecting a rent every first, right? That landlord has nothing to do with the problems that you have with your customer, right? Now, I'm not going to say that's the exact same as eBay, but I'm telling you guys how I think about it in my mind. That's, this is my storefront. So I gotta be responsible for covering my butt, crossing my T's and dotting my I's with every single transaction so that nobody can catch me slipping like a transmission. Now, a lot of people try. A lot of people have done it to me. Um, and it only took a couple times for me to nip that in the butt. So first I wanna say, is it worth starting to eBay? Absolutely. One thing about eBay, eBay is extremely unfair eBay is a platform that will um, terminate your account for nothing whenever they feel. eBay is a platform, I just called them yesterday, that will literally have reps go on the phone with you and lie. They'll just lie to you, okay? They'll lie to you. 
and they'll tell you, hey, your your account um, doesn't qualify for this. It doesn't do that. But then they'll tell the next person it does, right? It's complete unfair treatment, not uniform. Um, but it is a platform that has billions of people shopping on their platform that can make you anywhere from 500 to 20K a month easy, okay? Now, is it consistent? That is if you stay in the guidelines and stay very, very um, organized so that you are managing customer transactions, getting great reviews, becoming a top seller. Yeah, it's, it, it seems to be consistent for some. Um, but for many, it's not because not everybody ships their products out on time. Not everybody has the perfect customer ratings. Not everybody is shipping products with quality and they run into the problem of eBay um, flagging their accounts for counterfeit um, policy uh, violations. They run into these policies that eBay has um, and emails them and, and, and alters their accounts and, and brings their seller's um, status down to below average and then eventually shuts it down. So that's eBay in a nutshell, right? Now, knowing what eBay is, is eBay something that you should be selling on if you are somebody that wants to start a business? Yes. Now, eBay was the first platform I listed on. Um, and that platform taught me a lot because I started to understand, one, business isn't fair, right? And in business, you take losses, right? So if you're shipping devices like phones, electronics, things that cost a lot of money, right? It's important for you to make sure that you keep a track and receipt. It's important for you to make sure you're documenting that you're actually putting in a package. Even if you gotta go to the postmaster, put it in the um, envelope in front of the postmaster, it's important for you to actually do these steps. See, a lot of people think just because it's an online store that they don't have to do their due diligence and act as if they are acting business owner. Um, and a lot of people don't think of it as being a business owner because not everybody is meant to run a business. Not everybody is meant to be a business owner. Um, not everybody is meant to sell online. Not everybody is meant to make money other than with a job getting a check. Not everybody is willing to take that um, loss or take the, the hits that it takes to develop and, and improve yourself. And if you're somebody right now that has got scammed on eBay, somebody that's got your eBay account banned, you can make another eBay account. And I, I, I show videos, uh, well, I have plenty of videos on my channel that let you know how to make another eBay account. But understand this, if you're frustrated with eBay or any other selling app, understand this, like no matter what, that's what comes with the game, right? The game is not pretty. The game is not honest. The game is not going to always go your way. So if you get scammed by somebody because you sent them a phone and you feel like, oh, I sent this phone and this phone was here and the person said it wasn't, that is your fault because you obviously should know, one, to document it, but two, you gotta know, hey, listen, if this is the case that this could go missing or this person could um, try to scam me, I have to have a backup. If I open my store by myself and I'm turning the key, got my back turned to, the, to uh, the street and I'm just opening the door, I gotta have a backup plan if somebody comes and tries to rob me from behind. I gotta have a backup plan. Now, will a backup plan work? Not all the time. Some, Not all the time. Like people will always make you lose money as a business owner, okay? As a business. Um, you're always gonna lose money and you're always going to um, go through these pain points. But what happens is going through these pain points should alter your behavior and teach you how not to make this happen. Now, what do you do? I, I, I got scammed. Person said they didn't get the phone branding or the device. And now the person is acting as if um, they want a refund. First thing that I would do is I would try to go and get whatever tracking receipt. I would call eBay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do the chat. I would call and I would talk to a representative. That's all you can do. Yesterday, one of my clients, because I do do all eBay automation where we actually list for you on eBay and, and we list for you 
and we provide products for you. You take 100% of the profit. It's my eye muscles mindset, right? One of the clients, um, they did eBay automation and all of a sudden they, they, they're almost at, I think it was like 5K <coughs> and I got 4,700. All of a sudden, right? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's just like eBay turned their um, their products to only being able to be listed as auction only. And my guys were just so upset about that. And they didn't know, you know how to react. They called eBay. eBay said, oh, no, this is standard. When you create an account, it's auction only. So as we're on the phone with them, I'm creating an account. Lo and behold, when I try to list on that new account that I just created, I can do buy it now. And the rep is literally some other country lying to us. Um, and we can't do anything about it. We just got to get the status to a top seller. Like we just got to continue to go. And that sucks, but that's literally how it is when you don't own the platform. We don't own the platforms. And um, my message to you is keep your head up. Chin up, chest out. You feel me? No matter what happens, continue to always try and figure it out, okay? Because that's how you make money. You have to understand there's gonna always be roadblocks in business. Business is not fair. But you have to always think of the solution instead of dwelling on the problem. Because we dwell on the problem so much that we ultimately become the problem right we, we we add to that problem instead of just being the solution so that's one of the biggest things i've learned and i think that's one of the biggest things you can capitalize on especially when you're trying to sell on ebay so would i sell on ebay yes i would would i depend on it no i would i would definitely make sure that i'm doing the best to have the best customer service make sure that i'm offering the best products and just go about my day you know what I mean? That would be my, my main approach. And, and from there, I would just continue to try and grow and make the money on multiple streams. If you have one stream, two streams, three streams, that ain't enough. You gotta keep making more because every stream is controlled by somebody unless you own everything, okay? Everything. Just like you got a job, you got a boss, and your boss got a boss, and your boss boss got a boss. These platforms are your boss, technically. You don't own it. Let's be real. I'm being real. You feel me? YouTube, I don't own it. I don't think YouTube treats me fairly, but guess what? Instead of being a problem, I'd rather be the solution. You guys got this, man. You got this. You almost there. Stay positive. I am sure I will see you guys at the top because the bottom, man, it's too crowded. <laughs> All right, peace, y'all. See y'all later.